Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and let everything that has breath praise the living Jesus. Um, today we continue in the book of Joel, and Joel in chapter 2, verse 1 says blow the trumpet in zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the lord cometh for it is near at hand father in the mighty name of jesus this is Joel 2, and we humbly ask you to step in and bless this word and bless the hearers of it. The call is that the day of the Lord is at hand. The day of the Lord is here. And why is there going to be a day of the Lord? There's going to be a day of the Lord because we have disobeyed his laws, we have violated his statutes, and we have broken his everlasting covenant. Isaiah 24 verse 5. There are lots of other chapters and other verses that says literally the same thing. We have not obeyed the living God. We have disobeyed. Now, uh, the Lord said to me this morning or last night, Seeing is not believing. And I'm like, all right, Lord, we have a saying, or I know of a saying, that people are, have a way of saying, seeing is believing. And he says, oh, no, 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 no. Seeing is not believing. Now, uh, Jesus in John 11.40 said, I... Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou wouldest see the glory of the Lord. If you can believe it, you will be able to see it. So seeing is not believing. Now, um, there's another scripture from Second Peter 3 verse 8, which says that a thousand years is but a day in the sight of the Lord and a day is but a thousand years. All right. What we're trying to do is we're trying to put up scriptures to say, when is this day of the Lord coming? From Second Peter 3, 8, we can say that the day of the Lord could be a whole thousand years according to our years, or it could only be one day. So our entity is that we have to prepare for what is coming down the line. And Jesus Christ has already told us lots of earthquake and so on that will be coming down the line. And one of the problems we having right now is that we having wars and rumors of wars. Now, Ukraine and Russia is in a scramble. A rumble. Uh, Thirty years ago, when the Russia, when the uh, Soviet Union collapsed, their nuclear material were divided into three, of which Ukraine got a whole third. Now the UAU should have checked to find out where they are and have them destroyed or uh, dismantled. The question that I have to ask you, people of the world, is Mr. Putin has threatened that he will put his nukes on alert, high alert. The question is, what if Ukraine still has a number of 
those nuclear weapons that were not given up to the EAU 30 years ago. What would happen if Russia uses a nuclear weapon on Ukraine? What if Ukraine still has a number of nuclear weapons sitting on it for a day just like this? Where would we go? What is that coming to us? Is this destruction or is this real destruction? This is what we all have to think about because nothing is as clear cut and straight as the medias tell us. But Jesus says, repent for the day of the Lord is near, is here. Repent. Repentance and believing on Jesus Christ is only our only way out. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for listening to me. And I would humbly ask that you think on these things because they affect us all. And I thank you once again for listening. God bless you. Real good.